School superintendent pay, something the state has talked about during tight budgets. A viewer sent investigator Marla Carter a letter wanting to know what district leaders make. She uncovers their six-figure compensation packages in tonight's Tracking Your Tax Dollars. For Sheldon Barrett, picking up his six-year-old daughter from school is a treat. Me and mom, we alternate. Today's my day. Because every day is about Diana. Even this school, it's not too close to us, but, I mean, it's a good school, and it doesn't matter what sacrifice we got to make, even if I got to leave work early. Diana goes to Elliott, a TPS elementary. For Sheldon's extra effort, he, like most parents, want to know their child is getting a good education. And as taxpayers, citizens want to know that too. After all, you're paying the salaries for teachers and administrators. A 2 News viewer sent the investigators a letter wanting us to look into superintendent pay. So we did. The investigators obtained compensation packages from the Oklahoma State Department of Education for Jinx, Tulsa, Broken Arrow, and Union Districts. We found Jinx Superintendent Stacy Butterfield has a compensation package totaling $209,000. Dr. Jared Mendenhall of Broken Arrow has a package totaling $196,000. Union Superintendent Dr. Kurt Hartzler, his compensation package comes in at $219,000. And Tulsa Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Keith Ballard has the largest compensation package at $259,000. We, we took a look mainly uh, when I came at what other superintendents make in similarly sized urban districts, the level of responsibility. We compared salaries from our area with other cities as well. Little Rock, Arkansas Superintendent has a compensation package this year of $245,000. Edmond, Oklahoma Superintendent has a compensation package of $239,000. Oklahoma City Superintendent makes $210,000. While that's less than Dr. Ballard's, Tulsa is actually a larger school district than Oklahoma City. Dr. Ballard is in charge of the largest district in the state with 40,000 students and 7,000 employees, making it one of the largest employers in the city. He has not taken a raise in six years. And I don't think I should have. I mean, I'm very satisfied with what my compensation uh, package is. Still, the Department of Education says it's received concerns about superintendent pay, saying teachers need to be paid more, especially in comparison to district leaders. Superintendent Barisi has has recently uh, raised raised the issue and has advocated that that those that those teacher salaries indeed need need to be raised. Sheldon agrees teachers need more, but that doesn't mean Dr. Ballard or other superintendents should get less. They need to find a way to increase the teachers' pay. It doesn't necessarily mean you got to cut the superintendent because he's got a huge job. He's got to take care of the teachers. So. As I say, you can't take from one, give to the other. We just need to make sure that we're, they're both taken care of. We have a complete list of the compensation packages for superintendents in our area on our website, kjrh.com. Also, if there's something you'd like the investigators to look into, send us an email, investigators at kjrh.com. Marla Carter, 2 News works for you.